a team of researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, led by Professor Yet Ming Chiang, have developed a new sodium fuel cell. This works more or less like a hydrogen fuel cell. However, it uses liquid sodium, which becomes liquid at 98 degrees Celsius. The fuel cells should then be able to be used in ships or even airplanes at around 110 degrees Celsius. Their advantage is that the energy density is four times higher than that of commercial lithium batteries. The researchers estimate the energy density of sodium at around 1,200 watt hours per kilogram. However, Chiang, who is also involved in several companies such as Form Energy, which builds iron air batteries, and his company Propel Aero, which is already promoting the sodium fuel cell, has also been criticized. His invention also has major disadvantages. The waste product sodium hydroxide, which is mostly used for drain cleaners, poses problems. Although in the sea or air, it could increase carbon capture, the effect on plankton and land creatures are not known. For this reason, several geoengineering projects with sodium hydroxide have been paused for now. Another problem is that sodium reacts quite strongly with water. So water has to be kept away from the sodium permanently, making it difficult to use sodium as a fuel on a ship. In the next steps, Professor Chang wants to make the fuel cell smaller and further increase the energy density. Later, this will be tested on drones and at some point on trains and airplanes. Would you ever want to fly on a sodium-powered plane?